Hey YouTube, Diesel Dan Peters here. Sorry, I had to make it very dramatic. Uh, Diesel Dan Peters here. Um, basically, the whole rear end is put put back together. Um, I didn't record it, unfortunately. It was just one of those things I wanted to just get done, and that's it. Uh, unfortunately, all I have is bungee cords to hold the battery in place, but they are definitely holding it in place. It is not going anywhere. So I am not worried about it. It's two on each side. Um, they're definitely holding it. Oh, you know what? I'll make this. Let's see, can I make this any tighter? Yeah. There we go. A little bit tighter, kind of. Anyway, so yeah. So the battery's in place now. Uh, the battery tray is fixed, and I will show you all why I had to replace it. This is <laughs> this is what was in the quad, and I wondered why the battery would bounce around, and I kept hearing weird stuff. And it's a brand new battery. I'm not looking to destroy the battery. So here is the old battery tray. It is fixed. Way she goes. Um, so now I have to finish the rear drive shaft. I will definitely get that on video because I need more video of this squad as well. Um, I have a bunch of parts on the way. A lot of it's probably going to take a while like usual. But let me show you all just how the plastics are looking. I don't think I got this on video either. But I was able to actually re-weld the plastic. <laughs> and I got to give a big shout out to the person who sold me the Miata. One of my best buddies in the Air Force and really of all time, uh, Galavan. Uh, he had given me this. It is actually a solderer, but I was able to use it to weld because it came with the specific, it looks like a flathead tip, but I was able to use it to re-weld the plastics together. Basically most of the clips had broken off, which is why the uh, last person who owned this actually took off the headlights for the front. Now don't get me wrong, all right. Don't get me wrong at all. This quad will never look perfect, right? But I'm kind of going with that burnt, beat up look because I want to be able to use it. You know, I prefer a quad that looks beat up, or is beat up, I should say, that I'm able to use. And I'm not afraid to use it. And that's what this is. So basically, all the clips that held the headlights in, all those plastic trimming, you know, on the inside here. Let me see if I can flip this over. Show you all. You might not be able to see that, but that's re-welded. This one got re-welded as well. You can kind of see some of it. That one got re-welded. And this one definitely got re-welded. So that entire plastic on the outside there was actually broken off. And I just finished installing that and brand new LED lights for it. So I won't have those crappy looking pods on there anymore. No, don't get me wrong either with that. LED pods are great on specific quads and where you mount them makes the difference. So those were mounted sideways and they had overspray on them. They just looked horrible. But this is what the plastics look like right now with the graphic design kit. Uh, now this didn't come out perfect, but you know, you can't really expect much for 75 bucks and I don't have to have a crappy looking paint job. I'll show you all what the rest of the plastics look like. And <laughs> this seat cover actually came out perfect as well. Well, as perfect as it's going to get. So luckily, this seat, I specifically bought it because it has a quarter inch of foam on the bottom of this middle part here, which actually covered all the cracks and horrible, disgusting sponge, you know, like the foam that's actually on these seats, covered most of it. Uh, from on top, you can't see anything. Like if you go... Let me see what the camera's picking up. If you go exactly at the angle, you can see the slight bump here, you know, where it's missing some foam. It was missing foam regardless uh, because when the last person put this on, they didn't know what they were doing. And a bunch of water got underneath and destroyed the foam. Now, yeah, I probably could have ripped each little piece off and glued it back, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to be a quad that I want to be able to use and not be afraid to use. So I think it came out great compared to what it was. You know, this is at least stretched out. It looks nice. And 
it's comfortable. This is actually comfortable to sit on. And for a Renegade, apparently what I read online was they're not comfortable to actually ride. Sorry if I'm out of breath. It's been a very, very long day. Um, I also plastic welded this right here. One of the steps, uh, uh, the actual, wait, the foot rests. Like I said, the words are not going to come out of my mouth right now. So I, I welded the foot rest together. Uh, you can probably see the crack that runs all along here. Bring it around here. You can really see it on the back side here. Uh, it ain't perfect. I'm going to tell you that right now. It is not perfect, but it is definitely not going anywhere. Look at that. Literally bend it. It ain't going anywhere. Uh, except for that rear, this corner. You know what? I'm going to have to fix that. Hold on, YouTube. Let me, uh, let me fix that, and then I'll get back to you. There we go. Hey, YouTube Diesel Dan Peters here. So, in this box sits 550, no, it's closer to 600 after tax. 600, oh, just about $600 worth of parts for the Can-Am. This was by far the biggest purchase I've ever made for Quad. Do I know if I'll ever do it again? Totally don't know at all. But, let's take a look. So, I'm going to be super careful with this. I know what kind of hardware sits. I couldn't wait to open this up because literally I didn't want to uh, wait. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll start with the smaller stuff here. And I already have a container where we can start to put some of this into. Alright, so these are all the miscellaneous parts I would need to assemble it. Hell yeah. I'm excited. Very excited. Some wires, okay. Assuming to extend certain wires and stuff. So we'll set that off to the side. Everything looks great so far. Now let's get the camera right over here. Unboxing. I have been waiting for. I just got it today. I was holding off, and I was like, you know what? I can't hold off. I can't do that to my people. What do you think is in here, by the way? What do you all think is in this? I'm curious. Definitely for you too. Yeah. 
No, I'm not sponsored. But. It's taking it all in here. That's nice. That's nice. Winch ready. I believe it's a wild boar bumper. That's just nice YouTube. I'm sorry, I'm just taking it all in right now. Yeah. yeah. I always wanted something completely custom, already made. Yeah. There it is. Never thought in a million years I would ever own something like this. But, I guess if you work hard enough, anything's achievable. Just have to be willing. Now let's see what this paper has said that I kind of buried at the bottom. I'm just excited, YouTube. Hope you are all too. Um, this build is coming out great. Let me just show you all how the can is looking like right now. It's it it's starting to look more like a quad. Nothing is together. Like I said, I'm just getting ready for the move. So there's stuff just everywhere, but and it is coming together. Without further ado, I'm not gonna hold any of you all anymore. Just know that we're making moves and we're going to keep pushing forward. We're, you know, any bump in the road, we're going to keep moving forward from. So that's it. Diesel Dan Peters signing out for now.